and I'm back for the 100th time uh, and for my 100th vlog I'm, I've decided to review the Netflix show Atypical. I, it came out last month and I finished watching it a, a couple weeks ago so it's been uh, sitting in my head for a little while and I've uh, form my final thoughts about it or at least they will be my final thoughts uh, now that I've recorded them. Uh, Atypical is about an 18 year old high schooler named Sam. Uh, he's on the autism spectrum. He has Asperger's to be, be exact. He's not played by an actor who's on the autism spectrum. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. The, the show centers on Sam trying to get a girlfriend, as they put it. And I was a little surprised to find out that the whole season was gonna be about that. I thought I would focus on different aspects surrounding Sam. The season is only eight episodes long, so it, it's not that big of a deal, but I would still have liked to see uh, other things that Sam goes through. One thing I did really like about the show was how they showed, yeah, <laughs> I really liked how they showed that uh, autism affects Sam's family in many ways, even if Sam isn't around. For example, he has a sister named Casey, who's my favorite character in the show. She's younger than Sam, but for half of this season, I thought she was Sam's older sister, just cause she cared for him and protected him so much. And uh, I think they did that intentionally. It's also really hard for her to get uh, attention from her parents because a lot of times they're so focused on Sam. The father is played by that one actor who I saw in that one thing playing that one character. Yeah, you know him. He struggles to connect with Sam and then we find out uh, that he hasn't told his co-workers that Sam has autism even though he talks about Sam a lot. And he admits that he is kind of ashamed of Sam's autism. He's still trying to come to terms with it. The mother is played by the actress who played Daisy in The Hateful Eight. <laughs> and she's so used to taking care of Sam that she has trouble when Sam begins to do stuff on his own. And she, she seems to get mad at Sam's therapist for some reason. She doesn't want to listen to the therapist's advice and she seems to be blaming the therapist for her own problems. That can be a part of her character arc, but then she takes uh, the advice of Sam's friend, who's my least favorite character in the show. Everything he says is this is sexualized and dirty. She listens to the friend and uh, she does something which when she does it, uh, I'm just like, you really should know better. At the end of the season, Sam's school has a dance and the, the mom helps convince the school to make it autism friendly. And they do it by giving all the kids headphones uh, that play the music instead of uh, having the music blasted on speakers. So it's so weird to see people dancing in complete silence. I think this show is geared more towards neurotypicals, people not on the autism spectrum. There's a lot of explaining about autism and they do it uh, by using Sam's obsession with Antarctica. Like he'll be talking about a certain aspect of Antarctica and then try to relate it to his life. 
but I don't think it always works. Another thing is I could never tell which characters knew Sam had autism, because uh, he is called weird a lot in this show, a lot. And I couldn't always tell if he was being called weird as an insult or if they were trying to let him know that he was being a little anti-social. The show's trailer is horrible. Uh, I actually first heard about this show uh, on the Aspies World YouTube channel. When I finished the season, I did see the trailer and it, it's just a mess. It, it makes this show look like a upbeat, lighthearted comedy when really it has some darker, serious moments. Also, when the show's title comes up in the trailer, there's a penguin that comes through the shot, but they never mention Sam's obsession with Antarctica in the trailer. So I bet there are some people who are thinking, why did we just see a penguin? Also, one small thing that I noticed, uh, Sam and Casey's school is named Newton, which is really close to Newtown, where the Sandy Hook school shooting took place. And the shooter was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, along with a bunch of other mental illnesses. So I think they should have picked a different name uh, just to avoid any similarities. I think all of the performances uh, were good. Uh, although I think Sam should have been played by someone on the autism spectrum. The actor who plays Sam does a good job, but I think it would have been better to have an autistic person play themselves. I could make a whole another video about that subject and maybe I will. There are people with autism working behind the scenes on the show, but the only person, but I think the only uh, person on screen who actually has autism is a minor character who Sam doesn't like. So I, I think that's a little messed up. The, there were some times when I felt they went a little bit overboard with some of Sam's traits. Uh, I know this show is uh, supposed to be a comedy and, and comedy is exaggeration, but I think they went a little bit too far in portraying uh, some of Sam's autistic traits. And uh, I think it was just for comedic value. It became more humorous and less realistic. Its tone isn't truly realistic but it's also not truly humorous so it, it doesn't really know what it wants to be there are some things that it gets right but there are also some other things that just rub me the wrong way i saw that atypical was renewed for a second season recently. I'm not sure if I want to watch more of this show. I'm really mixed about it. I do want to see more shows about people with mental illnesses and if Atypical can lead to more shows like it, then that that's great. But I really want this show to be better. I was excited to watch it when I first heard about it, but then after I watched it, I was disappointed. So yeah, that was my review of Atypical, and that's also my 100th vlog. So until next video, goodbye.